I'm John Giever from MidPage Today in Seattle for the American Academy of Neurology annual meeting. It's well known that uh, uh, lowering LDL cholesterol, raising HDL, and reducing blood pressure and triglycerides uh, each will reduce the risk of stroke. But do these individual risk reductions add up? Dr. Pierre Amarenko of Denis Diderot University in Paris presented findings here, new findings, from the Sparkle start Stroke Prevention Trial and talked about them at a press briefing here. It is also well known that uh, lowering blood pressure decreases the risk of having another stroke. And it is known that uh, HDL cholesterol has a protective effect uh, of stroke, particularly high HDL cholesterol, that is good cholesterol. And finally, uh, there are suggestions from epidemiological studies and from clinical trials that lowering triglyceride would be uh, associated with a reduced risk uh, of stroke. So, um, uh, all these data uh, are available in the literature, but we don't know whether uh, combining these approaches reduce the risk of stroke further. The analysis looked at patients who met guideline targets for these four parameters. And we looked at uh, uh, one, two, or th three, or four of these targets achieved, and we found a dose-response relationship with the patients achieving the four parameters having a 65% reduction in stroke risk and a 75% reduction in major cardiovascular events. The researchers also found that patients who did better than the median on each parameter had significantly less stroke risk than those who did worse than the median. Dr. Amarenko summed up the study findings succinctly. So the take-home message is really treat patient to target. In Seattle, I'm John Giever, MedPage Today.